operating behind a curtain of secrecy in a building with a different name. The Baltimore Police Department's Internal Affairs Division handled more than 1,200 complaints filed in the past two and a half years. The cases cover a wide range of allegations, misconduct, excessive force, cheating, stealing, and a host of others. But according to our analysis of data obtained from the police department, the vast majority of cases gets dismissed. Of all the cases investigated and closed by Internal Affairs, just 9% were sustained as worthy of moving forward in the department's internal discipline process. Should that rate be that low? Uh, I don't know if it should be that low or not. But I think that it raises an eyebrow that we need to look into the issue further. City Council Member Brandon Scott is vice chair of the council committee that oversees police. The department provides no public accounting of its handling of IAD cases. Citizens feel like that when they go to IAD, it just goes there and they don't know what happened. And the trust will be rebuilt or built in some cases if they know when I send it there, it's not just going to go there and just go away. The average length of time for internal affairs to investigate a case against an officer, according to our analysis, 183 days, six months. And that's before the disciplinary hearing process officers are entitled to even begins. Just a handful of officers who went through that process were forced out or fired. Five resigned or retired in lieu of termination. Two were terminated. It sounds low to me. David Plymeyer, a former attorney for Anne Arundel County and an advocate for police reform, says what's revealed by the data we've obtained is sure to be examined by federal investigators currently conducting a civil rights investigation of the department's practices. The process as it works, the delays, is, is not going to survive, in my opinion, uh, the Department of Justice review. Uh, they will certainly look at that <laughs> as to why that number seems low. The data reveals how some officers are let off the hook even when investigators sustain allegations against them. Fifteen percent of the cases were administratively closed. That's a part of the police union contract agreed to by the city in 2003. It allows the department's lawyers to essentially veto the recommendations of investigators. Cases so dismissed, a letter in the contract says, will result in all charges previously sustained by IAD to revert to a non-sustained finding and then be subject to expungement. Why is the legal affairs section uh, washing out cases that train police, you know, officers and commanders believe show by preponderance of the evidence are violations. The biggest category of complaints against Baltimore police officers is misconduct, which comes in many forms, followed by complaints of excessive force. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Jane Miller.